Black Water Lilies by Michelle Boussy, published by Orion Books, and it is a murder mystery set in the former home of Claude Monet, which is Giverny. The body of local ophthalmologist Jérôme Morval is found in the local river. He's head down and he's absolutely dead. And so the police start to investigate to see what has been happening in this funny little village that is often overwhelmed by tourists. Um, and when the tourists go of an evening, the little characters who live there come out. Now he's stuck fairly faithfully to the layout and the geography of the village. And he says so in his book that, um, you know, he's tried to render it as it is. So the book opens with almost um, a fairy tale beginning. It starts with three women lived in the village. The first was me, the second a liar, and the third an egoist. So already we have something that feels slightly otherworldly. And of course there is the presence, the ghost um, of Claude Monet and all his work and his house. Um, there is a witch who lives in the mill. She's one of the women. And um, so it just feels like a little bit um, creepy maybe, um, but just, you know, that there's such there's a presence, there's something else going on there, um, as well as the police investigation. Inspector Laurence Serenac arrives with his sidekick, Sylvia Benavide, and they have a footprint to go on, uh, so they know there is a boot and start assembling the boots from the locals to see um, you know, if they can find the perpetrator. They are also sent uh, several sets of photos which depict Monsieur Morval in the company of a variety of different women, including the school teacher. And of course, you know, Laurence Serenac has now found a little bit of uh, his eye drawn towards the school teacher so you know his personal life is beginning to get a little bit muddled in the investigation. So was Monsieur Morval perhaps killed by a jealous lover? After all, judging by the photos, he seems to have been a bit of a Jack the Lad. Or was there something about the paintings? Because he was very keen to pick up one of the water lilies, and Bussy tells us that there are at least 170 uh, variations of the water lilies painted by Monet over the short 30 years that he was in Givenet. Um, perhaps there are other ones that are unrecorded, undocumented, and perhaps he got involved in some dodgy art dealings. Nobody knows, but these are the routes of investigation that the policemen are looking into. So if you have been to Givenet, um, if you're going to Givenet, then I think um, picking up this novel um, really transports you in, it, you know, it gives you a feel for the place, you know, Monet is there in spirit, um, and I really enjoyed it, so a good one to pick up. Mm -hmm.